Today I'm going to review the series of what are predominantly called newspaper readers, published by Dunwoody Press. Dunwoody Press exists to encourage the study of understudied, less commonly studied, rare languages. They won't publish anything for uh, common languages like French, Spanish, German, Japanese, but uh, they have about, I don't know, maybe 50 or 60 uh, African and Asiatic languages for which uh, almost nothing or nothing at all is available. For those for which absolutely nothing at all tends to be available, the books are, rather than being called uh, newspaper readers, they're called reader and grammar, and they are uh, more elementary uh, when they begin the, the, the text selections, which are still primarily taken from newspapers, but these are different from the newspaper readers proper, in that they have a much longer grammatical introduction. The grammar is given to you in lieu of a uh, reference grammar, which probably doesn't exist anywhere else. It's an outline form. It's not a teaching grammar. There are no exercises. It's pretty intense if you're not used to grammar, but it gives you uh, uh, charts and everything you might need to know uh, in order to begin reading the language, and then the selections are given to you. They begin uh, very short and simple, uh, and the vocabulary that you need for each reader, uh, each text, follows right on it. When the texts get a little bit longer, the vocabulary then follows onto other pages, and you have to do a fair amount of flipping back and forth, uh, and then you're given a uh, section of translations of all the texts, and then a separate section of glossary at the end. So we get 400 pages of uh, Tigrinya and Eritrean language. You can also find a similar format for this uh, spoken Sudanese Arabic and other Arabic dialects, uh, a relatively long grammatical introduction, uh, and then a very short texts uh, at the beginning uh, with some notes and grammar immediately following them, a separate section of uh, translations at the end, and uh, then a comprehensive glossary. Uh, so those are the reader and grammar types. Uh, most of them, as I said, are newspaper readers, like this Albanian newspaper reader. So the grammatical introduction is <coughs> Uh, shorter, or, or perhaps not even there at all. It's presumed you've gotten that somewhere else. And the uh, reader selections begin at a slightly more advanced level, level ILR, level 2 generally. Uh, and the vocabulary, again, is uh, given to you when the texts get a little bit longer on subsequent pages. Uh, so you have to flip back and forth for the most part. Uh, but you get the uh, translation and then the glossary. That's their basic format here for Albanian. Likewise for uh, Zulu. Zulu does have a fairly long uh, grammatical introduction, even though it's uh, just a newspaper reader, and there are a few other sources for learning uh, uh, Zulu out there. Uh, the Zulu reader incorporates a somewhat nicer feature. You've got numbered paragraphs in the, um, in the selections, which are relatively long now that you, you get them. Uh, and that way you can uh, find the vocabulary a bit more easily, but you're still uh, going back and forth, back and forth like that to, uh, to get to it. Uh, and the separate translations, the glossary, a good 500 pages uh, for furthering your studies of, of Zulu. Um, among their, their general rules to publish just one book per language, but they have uh, two privileged languages among these underprivileged, understudied languages, and these are Persian first and foremost. Uh, all the Persian books they have, uh, four of them, compiled by uh, Professor Michael Hillman at the University of Texas at Austin. Um, he did a, uh, well, the Persian newspaper reader, uh, reading Iran, reading Iranians, and Persian vo vocabulary acquisition, an intermediate reader and guide to word forms in the Arabic elements in Persian, and then uh, my favorite, this Persian fiction reader. Uh, this Persian fiction reader uh, is different from the newspaper readers in that, well, first and foremost, obviously, the, the texts are literary, and therefore, to me, much more interesting. Uh, and they have the text, and then rather than vocabulary following it, some, some notes about it, some discussion of it, or perhaps even some uh, analysis of the, uh, the, the grammatical forms in it uh, following the, the text. Uh, and there is no specific vocabulary for uh, each uh, any given text, uh, but rather just the general glossary and the uh, the set of translations that comes with it. I hope you can see uh, that the quality of these books in terms of the uh, 
paper binding uh, printing is, is really extremely high. These are very nice uh, texts uh, that you can work with and study and they all come with uh, recordings as well uh, but I have to say the recordings aren't quite at the quality in, in my experience of, of, of the text themselves. Some of them like the uh, Sudanese Arabic uh, one are done in the field so they're kind of live and the recording that comes with the, this Persian text is, is read by somebody who, well, he reads it in a monotone and at an extremely fast pace as if he's just trying to get through it. I have a lot of uh, Persian audio that's uh, made for, for native speakers and it's at a much more friendly narrative pace than this is, but it's very, this is one of my favorite books for, for furthering my study of Persian. Um, they did a Persian fiction reader and the other privileged language among their underprivileged is uh, very much to my benefit is a uh, Korean. Uh, I'm told I've produced a Korean newspaper reader for them and I've had the promise of perhaps doing a Korean fiction reader in the future and right now I'm working on a specifically North Korean uh, reader which is a very interesting project. Uh, for this uh, Korean newspaper reader I did give uh, a grammatical outline in which I gave some charts that I think are quite valuable for any student of Korean and can't be, find, uh, can't be found in other places of uh, conjunctive endings uh, listed uh, alphabetically and the like. And I also convinced them uh, in this reader to uh, use what I think is a much more user-friendly format of putting the text and the specific vocabulary that you need for any given text on the same page so that you can read uh, with both hands, read with your fingers this way and find here's this word here that I need and here's the next word here and so you're able to find the vocabulary without that inordinate amount of uh, flipping back and forth which is very distracting. Um, in this newspaper reader, Korean newspaper reader, what I did was uh, alternate the 50 selections between North and South Korean um, materials on the on the same topic uh, and then you get the obligatory translations uh, at the end and the overall comprehensive glossary in which I highlighted the specific North Korean words are, are underlined so it can serve as a source for that. Um, and before I published the uh, Korean newspaper reader I worked together with Professor Kim Jong-nook and we produced a handbook of Korean verbal conjugation uh, which can give you an idea of what I, I truly believe is probably the most complicated system of uh, conjugation out there in this whole wide world of languages. Um, you can see all the different categories of uh, irregular verbs in the table of contents and uh, all the uh, different endings. This is not going to show up at all well on, on the camera, I know, but at least you can get an idea of uh, some of the charts of uh, Korean verbs have seven uh, classes of uh, or respect levels, which you need to know, and then a whole bunch of conjunctive endings or phrases and lots of uh, irregular categories. So um, here's a, a handbook of Korean verbal conjugation. Uh, and as I said, I'm working on a North Korean reader now and hopefully a uh, Korean fiction reader in the future to match this Persian fiction reader. And again, for Zulu or Albanian or spoken Sudanese Arabic or Tigrinya or any of another about 50 or 60 rare, uncommon, uh, understudied, less studied uh, languages. Dumbudi Press is providing real service uh, that people ought to know about of texts that you can uh, get to either begin the study of the language with the reader and grammar or to further it if you somehow got a foothold in these languages, newspaper readers. So uh, thank you, Dumbudi Press.